Have you ever wondered how our planet was born? It's a question that's entranced humanity for ages and the uniplanetary evolution theory offers a remarkable perspective. Picture this, every billion years, our sun in a spectacular display of cosmic power ejects a massive ball of iron-rich plasma. This fiery mass hurtling through the cold void of space begins its life as Mercury, a newborn planet in the grand tapestry of our solar system. Now Mercury isn't just a ball of scorching metal, it's a dynamic entity, primarily made up of iron and nickel. As it cools and hardens in the unforgiving cold of space, it begins an extraordinary process known as off-gassing. But Mercury's journey isn't over yet. Volcanoes and impacts add to the planet's size, triggering a transformation. As the planet grows in size through volcanic activity and impacts, it transforms into Venus. Now imagine Venus, the next stage in our planetary evolution. As the molten iron-nickel core cools, the planet begins to off-gas, developing an atmosphere rich in carbon. This process heats up the planet, reliquifying the core and leading to volcanic activity and impacts that add to its size. Over time, the atmosphere begins to acquire hydrogen and oxygen, setting the stage for the emergence of water. The cooling of the planet hardens its outer layer rapidly, allowing the development of an electromagnetic field that shields its devolping atmosphere, and so a water planet is born. This watery cradle becomes the home for microbial life, which begins to accumulate due to asteroid impacts. But this tranquil stage doesn't last forever. As Earth moves out of the Goldilocks zone, the habitable belt where conditions are just right for life, it undergoes massive electrical storms. These storms convert the oceans into hydrogen, transforming our water planet into Phaeton, a hybrid planet with a rocky core, oceans and a runaway hydrogen atmosphere. Picture Phaeton, a fascinating stage in our planet's evolution. Our humble water planet, Phaeton, continues to generate hydrogen and in doing so undergoes a remarkable transformation, morphing into the gas giant we know as Jupiter. A marvel of cosmic evolution, isn't it? As this process unfolds, an unexpected visitor arrives in the form of a comet. This celestial traveler collides with Jupiter, igniting the abundant hydrogen. A spectacular sight indeed, but one that holds explosive consequences. The blast forces Jupiter to explode into the vast expanse of space, scattering its elements far and wide. In the aftermath of this cataclysmic event, Saturn emerges, encircled by its iconic rings of debris. Gradually, Saturn begins to drift further from the Sun. The cooling effect of this distance slows down the planet's ability to produce gas, altering its composition and appearance. As the rings of debris start to dissolve back into the planet, Saturn begins its transformation into Uranus. As the planet moves farther away from the Sun, it becomes colder, which slows down its growth. This change turns Uranus into a planet we call Neptune. Its magnificent rings have almost completely disappeared. Let's rewind to the explosion of Jupiter, an event that led to the birth of our own planet. When Jupiter ignited, Phaeton's hydrogen also caught fire, completely destroying the planet. What remained was reduced to crumbs, creating the inner asteroid belt. The heart of Phaeton, a mostly iron asteroid named Psyche, is all that's left. The debris from this explosion impacted Earth, causing it to lose a significant amount of mass. This debris was pulled into the orbit of the largest remaining planet, Venus, giving birth to our moon. This celestial body was essential for stirring the primordial soup on a cosmic scale, setting the stage for the evolution of life. The impact also triggered a transformation, turning Earth into Mars. This event marked the beginning of a perpetual cycle, a rhythm of creation and destruction, repeating itself every billion years. The explosion of Jupiter creates a billion-year window of life on Earth. In this time, life evolves from simple, single-celled organisms into the complex beings we are today. But life doesn't just stop on Earth. The theory proposes that microbial life, which is a billion years old and originally on Earth hitched a ride on an asteroid, made its way to Venus, referred to as the New Earth. This move would be part of its ongoing evolutionary process. This leap isn't just physical, it's a leap through time, a leap through evolution. Each time life leaps to a new world, our evolutionary record is erased and restarted, like a cosmic reset button. This might even explain some of the gaps in our evolutionary history, the so-called missing links. And as we speak, a huge portion of the sun is swirling around its pole. This year, 
a solar magnetic shift could release this loose material, potentially giving birth to a new planet, a new Earth, a new stage in the cosmic dance of life. This theory changes our understanding of who we are, where we came from, and our understanding of space and time. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey. If you are a passionate explorer of the mysteries in our cosmos and eager to uncover new perspectives, you've come to the right place. We post thought-provoking videos every day, so don't miss out on any of our mind-blowing episodes. Hit that subscribe button now and embark on more awe-inspiring voyages of discovery.